What's going on guys, it's Justin, and on this episode of Casual Fridays, we're counting down our top 10 movie cars of all time. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. And also drop a comment on this video to tell us how awesome our list is or what we missed. Starting off at number 10, we're going back in time to when literally every vehicle in a high school parking lot was awesome. That's at least how the movie Days to Confuse portrayed it. Wooderson's 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS 454 starts off our list. Better known as Melba Toast, Wooderson, played spectacularly by Matthew McConaughey, and his Chevelle are a perfect combination for big screen awesomeness. In fact, let's just let Wooderson tell you about it. I've got 411 Posi Track out back, 750 double pumper, Edelbrock intakes, board over 30, 11 to 1 pop up pistons, turbo jet, 390 horsepower. We're talking. Haven't seen Days to Confuse? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. This movie is packed full of fantastic rides, but Melba Toast steals the show. A nine second quarter mile and 900 horsepower land Dominic Toretto's 1970 Charger RT from the Fast and the Furious at number nine on our list. Sure, this movie pretty much signaled that the import scene has officially arrived, but it practically came out of nowhere and launched several acting careers. But more importantly, it brought the entire sport compact and tuner culture to the spotlight. That's nice and all, but we're suckers for old school muscle. So we're partial to Dom's Charger RT. If you're more of the tuner type, then go ahead and add this movie to your favorites and drop your favorite car in the comments. Because remember, it's all about family. Landing at number eight, the Wagon Queen family truckster from National Lampoon's Vacation. That's number eight, to match the amount of headlights on this metallic pea beauty. Sure, other cars are faster, sleeker, and more elegant, but come on. If you're taking the whole tribe across country, then this is your automobile and it's ours too. Plus, it's totally better than that Antarctic Blue Super Sport Wagon with the optional Rally Fun Pack. Am I right? At number seven, we give you the 1973 Ford Falcon XB from Mad Max. I mean, we all do love modded vehicles here at Summit Racing, and the V8 Interceptor Falcon fits the bill for sure. This thing's got a Condor-style front end, giant wheel and supercharger, fiberglass pieces, and a black paint scheme to go with the chrome wheels. In sort, this isn't your granddad's police interceptor, but it is one legendary movie car that had to be on our list. At number six, we have the first and only time-traveling machine on our list and that's the 1981 DeLorean DMC-12 from Back to the Future. With sweet gullwing doors, a unique stainless steel finish, and a space-time continuum traversing flux capacitor, it's hard to argue against the Back to the Future DeLorean being among Hollywood's most iconic cars. While everyone's talking about electric-powered cars these days, old Doc Brown went the opposite direction, plutonium power. Whether it's been pushed by a train, hovering with a Mr. Fusion, or running on nukes, the DeLorean was every bit of important to the trilogy as Marty McFly or Dr. Emmett Brown. We're halfway through our list and our top five kicks off with the 1977 Firebird Trans Am SE from Smokey and the Bandit. It's a movie about delivering a truckload of beer, and fast. It also stars Burt Reynolds' iconic mustache, and Sally Fields too. Lots to like in this movie, but the car that starred spawned a legion of Trans Am enthusiasts, specifically Bandit Trans enthusiasts, and we salute them. I think it's time to go get a Diablo sandwich. So, moving on to number four, we all know the iconic movie car, Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds, and it just had to make the cut. The question is, which one? We went with the original from the 1974 version of Gone in 60 Seconds. The 1973 Mustang Fastback lands at number four. Wait, or is it a 1971? A 1971 sports roof Mustang made to look like a 1973 for the movie? Crazy, crazy facts. The car takes part in one of the classic car chase scenes from the movie and history was made. The movie also inspired a remake in 2000 and the 67 Shelby GT500 used in that movie is often cited as the favorite but we prefer the humble yellow 73 that paved the way. Hey, speaking of car chases, if there's a more famous car chase scene or a more revered on-screen driver than Steve McQueen, we don't know about it. 
That's why the 1968 Mustang GT from Bullet is at number three. In fact, the vehicle has made such an impact that special edition Bullet Mustangs were released by Ford in 2001 and then again in 0809. If you're into them, you can read and talk all about them with folks at the International Mustang Bullet Owners Club. And when we asked our social media fans recently about the top movie cars, guess what landed at number one? Yup, it's Bullet. At number two, the car that is credited for single-handedly jump-starting the modern hot rod movement, the 1932 Ford Deuce Coupe from American Graffiti. Regardless of its significance in the papillon of hot rodding, I think we can all agree that it's pretty freaking rad. In the lineup of iconic cars in this movie is a 55 Chevy, a 56 Thunderbird, a 51 Merc, but Milner's 32 Coupe was the star. At least we think. And fun fact, when the movie was done, you could have bought that car for $1,300. Kind of blows your mind. Topping our list though is my personal favorite hot rod from my personal favorite movie, and that's the 1955 Chevy 150 from Tulane Blacktop. This car was all business. It featured a ton of Ram 454 big block, dual four barrel carburetors mounted upon a high rise Wheeland intake manifold. With a Muncie four-speed and an Oldsmobile pause attraction rear end with 488 gears putting the power to the ground. Sounds like they ordered directly from the Summit Racing catalog. Also, this movie focused on drag racing instead of car chase scenes that were so popular at the time. That's bonus points. This car was very down and dirty in a very good way. It was also all about winning, so it wins the day at the top of our list. So we know, we know, we miss so many good movie cars, like Herbie the Love Bug, or where's the Ferrari from Ferris Bueller? Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Tell us what cars we missed in the comments. As always, I'm Justin with Summit Racing, and thanks for watching.